Madam Chair, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to, uh, well, first I'm going to speak to it and then I'm going to make a motion. Um, I think that whatever road that we take, whether it be <coughs> one avenue or two, it's going to be totally important that we bring the public along with us. And along the way, we listen to what they have to say. Because we may be 10 steps into this and somebody brings up something that we haven't considered. Um, with, and, and I think that we're going to need to set up some informational meetings. Um, we do have one on the 27th, uh, but what I am proposing, and I'd like to make a motion, that we form a high, high school informational committee um, made up of a school board member and community members. Um, if I get a second, I'll speak to that. I'll second for discussion. I'd like to uh, create such a committee with a charge to to give the information as it is being um, created here at this board to the public and have an avenue for them to get any feedback and report back to us. This would not be a committee of giving opinions about which um, approach they support or anything like that. It would be more explaining what is going on here and answering questions based on the decisions and the policy changes like Dr. Littlefield said that we're making along the way. Um, I think that when, when we looked at building this school, we created a space needs committee and they gave a lot of data out which created a lot of support when it came time for the ballot because people understood what it was that they were voting on. And I think we're going to need to address this so that when we come to the ballot, we are successful. Otherwise, we could get some kickback vote and people voting for things that they don't really understand, but maybe they've heard that it, it's not a good idea. So I, I would like to, uh, I'd like to, to uh, see if we could set up such a plan. I, I just, I, I can't support this. I just don't think we have that kind of um, time right now. Um, you know, we, it's just that we, we can create a committee um, for the high school study committee, and they did a lot of work, and they gave us a lot of data. And um, we're, we're, you know, I just feel like I'm hearing that we're discrediting all their work that they did. We don't have enough data, we don't have enough data. I don't want to see us now make another committee, and then we're just going to discredit the work that they've done. Um, we have a very short uh, time frame here. I don't think we have, um, for this particular, avenue that we're talking about specifically. I just don't think we have um, the time uh, for that committee to commence. We're talking about, um, from what I can tell, three months uh, to start these to start these wheels turning. Well, that, that is not really my intent that we would wait at all for this committee. Um, my, my thought was that that committee would, first of all, uh, take some of the burden off the school board of providing all that information, and that's what happened with the colleague Space Needs Committee. Second of all, at, even after the three months, although we have that deadline, there's still going to be a huge amount of time, and that's when the voters are really going to start paying attention um, all the way into the March vote. So that committee could, would have an opportunity once we have formed the warrants to have some presentations about those warrants, uh, possibly bring in a presentation from whichever school or schools, like Dr. Littlefield said when Pinkerton came in. There would be time for that to happen. We wouldn't have to wait for that. But I just think we need to remember that they're gonna make the ultimate decision and I, I want them to be as informed as possible. And I think that's our responsibility. Some will go out on their own and really dig in, but I think we need to provide those forums so that people can can understand why we've done what we've done and what it is we're doing. So, actually, I'm sorry, get close to the mic. So, a um, couple things. Um, okay. Um, first of all, actually, um, I'm I'm in some agreement with John. We actually were side by side the day of the voting, going through and asking people about this stuff. I guess at the time. Again, we were at like 30,000 foot level because we were trying to address the fact that we really didn't know what the options would be or what it was, so we kind of wanted to categorize it either way. So I would agree that a lot of folks, because we had to still say Manchester was in the picture, which now I believe, well, they won't be if we breach. 
So, but the other part was Manchester and options. And, and again, I think tied into that options, it wasn't so much that like everybody, maybe some folks were voting for all the options, but folks were also voting for single options within that, you know, list of options. So I don't, again, I think that's, that's again, data that's out there, but it's the way you ask it and it could be interpreted two different ways. So, um, Excuse me just a minute, Mr. Denbo. I know you're new on the board, but we, when we have a motion on the table, yeah. we're supposed to talk only about that motion. Okay. So right now, aren't we supposed to be talking just about my motion of either having an informational okay. committee or not? Okay. I didn't mean yeah. to No, nope, not at all. I appreciate but it. But I just wanted to keep it focused. Then we can vote that up or down and then move on to everything else. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry, there. Yeah. Hand up before Mr. Denbo and you. Yeah, now, the only point I want to make is something uh, Member Axton said. I want to make sure it's very clear. Uh, I thought when I, I was talking about the data, differentiating between the data we've already collected um, in our committees as lay people versus the data that a legal team that would actually be able to dig in uh, with the state and with the schools as far as availability by contract, what would be legal? And that's when we get down into what would Hooks be offering to pay per student, you know, those kind of details. So I just want to make sure that you know we carry away from here. Uh, no insults to anybody that's collected data. That's definitely not the intention. We appreciate all that data, and it's been great data. It's helped us get to where we are now. But I think now we're into that next phase. You know, yeah, the, the same objection. We have to keep it to the <laughs> motion, the discussion yeah. of the motion. We were discussing the motion of creating an informational committee to share information with public. Did she bring that up during your? I made a motion. So she so. made it before. <coughs> um, is there any more discussion on this motion? Um, I'm going to call the motion to a vote. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed? Opposed. No. 